Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, here at the Tampa RV Show with Renee from Global Expedition Vehicles. And we're going to be showing you today one of her Mac Daddies. I think this thing's phenomenal, Renee. I'm going to let you take over here once I flip this camera around. Okay. What we have here is our most popular model called the Patagonia. The power plant underneath it is the Kenworth K370 chassis, but this is not a standard Kenworth. Well, let's go take a look at what's underneath. Okay. Let's take a look at this. So Mr. Air Force guy, what you can see underneath here is that this truck has four wheel independent suspension. And this is allowing each of these wheels to have 14 inches of wheel travel. You have front locking differential, rear locking differential, and come look at this rear axle. Take a look at the rear axle now. Look right down in there. Hope I can get underneath here. Here we go. What okay. We have, what we've done here is replace the standard rear axle with the rear steer axle. Up to 15 miles an hour, this, this vehicle will steer, the rear axle will steer, and it will do a sideways crab crawl. Wow, so now is that just moving forward or is that backwards as well? I actually don't know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we've replaced the standard 22.5 hubs with 20 inch, so we've got 20 inch military wheels and tires along with the full automated central tire inflation system like you see on some of the military trucks. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. So now what's the what's the power plant we have for the generator here? This is an Onan um, QD5000. Okay. Plenty. And then, of course, you say you have two 100-pound, I mean, 100-gallon diesel, I'm assuming diesel, correct? Yes. Tanks. Yes. And then you can carry 180 gallons of fresh water? Of fresh water, right. Okay. Right. And this thing also has 2,000-watt um, solar? On this one? 1.8. Uh, 1.8. 1 1.8. 1 well, it's 1 pretty close. Roof, yeah. Awesome. That's because we have three skylights on the roof and okay. a couple vent fans. Otherwise, we'd have a little bit more real estate to put. What's this quick connect up front here? This is just to allow a customer to plug in. Um, because it's a medium duty truck, it's going to have onboard air. Okay. So this is just an easy place for the people to, if they want to power a tool. You don't need this for your tires because you have the central tire inflation system. Right. Okay. So this is to, this is to blow up a... Uh, a beach mat or something. Awesome. Just give you a little look underneath the front here. So let's go around to the back. And I notice on the front and the back you have a winch system. Correct. And uh, it says 68,000 pounds. I don't think so. On the, well, and that was on the hook. Let me put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that was a brake string. Yeah, so, string. so I think this truck is sporting a couple of the Super Winch Talon 18s. Okay. Um, yes, I know that 18,000 pounds is not going to pull this completely out. Most of the time you don't need that. But if you do run it through a pulley, you'll double your pulling strength and you should be able to get yourself out of just there you about go. anything. It's one heck of a uh, spare tire right there. Yeah, probably weighs in the three to three hundred and fifty pound range. And then, of course, I'm, I'm assuming that's one of the that's the air conditioner right up top yeah, there. That's our mini split unit. Okay. And on the inside, we've got two heads. We've got a rear rear wall mounted head and a forward mounted head. Gotcha. And then, of course, this is a pass through storage right here. Right. You're gonna see. And I'm not tall enough to turn the light on. But okay. This is. Um, you'll see all master bolt electronics inside. Okay. Those are the master bolt. Those are the uh, lithium ion batteries. Right, 5,500 amp, uh, 5,500 kilowatt. Okay. 400 amp hour batteries. Wow. Storage in these lower compartments here. Okay. And I take it. Do you have a ladder? I take it to get on the roof. Nope. Nope. And that's called theft deterrence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we carry uh, telescoping ladders. Okay. But a walkable roof. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Another way to get on the roof would be to go out the skylight over the bed. Oh, awesome. So. Yep. So this kind of gives you a little overview of everything that's on it currently. And this list it listing all the upgrades on it as well? It lists some of the most commonly chosen upgrades. Okay. 
this truck, this particular truck has a lot more things on it than even shown there on that brochure. I've got you. And then, of course, these are all the different ones that you have here, right? These are different models. Okay. This side being the pickup, um, either a F550 or a Ram 5500. This side being medium duty truck. Okay. Chassis. Well, let's get on inside because now things get exciting, don't they? Yeah, they do. People That's don't. Cool. People don't like all the outside stuff. No, they probably don't. Let's I'll go. follow you. Let's go. So, I guess the first question people are going to probably ask, how many would this sleep? This exact layout's going to sleep four people. Okay. But this is designed for, a, this is built for a couple. Okay. So, this is just for occasional sleeping for a friend or family member that comes and travels with them. Gotcha. We can also build this with um, a dining booth that makes out like this. Okay. We can also put a bed at the ceiling. So, this can be designed to, to easily sleep six people. Okay, so multiple options with that. Yeah. Awesome. So so this could be the dinette area. How does your table configure for that area? So we have the table removed right mm -hmm. now so that I can show that this is an electric sofa. Mm -hmm. But the table leg mounts right here. Okay. And then this actually is storage of the table right here in this cab oh. extension area. So it gets the table completely out of the way. Okay. And if you don't want to put it back for a while, you aren't going to be like stepping over it or it's not going to be in the way this is a great little storage area for it right there gotcha now how do you get privacy from that cab like when you're using it there's a door there's a door for yeah, that as to, well to close it off now does that table need to be out of the way when you do that no okay also i'm just going to go ahead and videotape yep. up there in the cab area sure. does this have air ride seats by chance absolutely okay and i see you have the, the allison the transmission seats, the seats are um, heated and cooled heated and cooled leather seats leather air ride seats wow okay Rear observation camera. I take it has nav navigation and so forth. Yeah, it's in the it's in the big iPad screen up above there. So this is what the cab area looks like with their entrance doors. And notice how you have the mirror, so you're able to look down for things that are close to you on the passenger side there. That's correct. You bet. Okay, so let me sit right here. We'll look towards the back. So, how is this one configured with everything? Okay, so. A couple things here is a couple things you can't see. We have a heated floor system with a um, ceramic tile, so it takes us a little bit of energy to get the tiles heated, but then you're going to get a lot of deference of just uh, radiant heat from the floor system, which is really nice. Awesome. Um, the here's the air conditioner. You can see this is the mini split forward head. Okay. There's, all, there's one also located in the bedroom. Okay. And like you said, this is the dining area. Our kitchen is comprised of a drawer, refrigerator, freezer system, which is different than a typical RV. But we found this to be super beneficial. This is from the marine world. And um, we found this super nice because of being off-road, things tend to shift. And that way they don't end up out on the floor. Awesome. Yeah. And then I, now what type of a cooktop is this? Induction. This that is a is, Ga Gaginaw okay. induction, two burner induction cooktop. We have a Gaginaw speed oven right here. Okay. And hiding underneath it, it's the we washer have dryer a spl combo. Splendid combo, combo awesome. unit. And then it, this is the bathroom area. See yep. the lighting. So you actually does, have a window that opens. Yeah, we have a window and the entire shower roof is also a skylight, an opening skylight. So tons of ventilation in our dry bath. We're using a, um, a Thetford Tecma um, silencer toilet. So this, this particular truck does have a black tank. That's not typical for our expedition trucks, but on this very high end truck, it's something that people usually want. I take it this is a true four season? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to let you walk back. Okay, so then a power vent fan here. So if you want to just pull air through instead of running the air conditioners. Correct. And then, of course, this can, this can be a real residential queen. Correct. We don't, okay. put, we don't put foam piece mattresses in our trucks. All of our mattresses are real residential mattresses. And a queen would be a 60 by 80. Right. We've got storage built around the, around the bed in as much pl many places as we can. Something that is very different in our rigs is the quality of the windows and the skylights. We use a German-built Armor Vision dual-pane glass window system that has 
integrated blinds and screens. I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, but we also have that above the bed, the skylight version of it. So that skylight opens completely to where you could actually get out on the roof. Okay. Um, and it has a screen system so you can lay there in temperate temperatures, you know, shoulder seasons and really enjoy just the, the fresh air being drawn past you by the vent fan. Well, that's awesome. Well, let's go up front. You can show me that screen system. Yeah. Just want to show you as we're leaving the bedroom here, it's, it is a step down, but you have the lighting underneath of the cabinets there. So, so this is a armor vision window. The screen system is pulled right now because the window's open. But this is dual pane glass. Okay. Very heavy duty um, hardware on it. Not only does it have a closed position, but it also has a vent position. So I can have that window locked and secured, pull the screen, and then I can leave and go out hiking and I can set the vent fan. So if it gets to be 75 degrees in here, then we can turn, the vent fan will turn on automatically and keep it, keep it nice and tempered in here. That's awesome. Also has a blackout blind for privacy or sleeping. Well, that's awesome. Yep. So. Any other special things that you'd like to tell us about this? Um, we didn't see the TV, but there is a TV and sound system in here. That stuff can be customized. Um, we do because we're not don't really have huge weight limits. We use either um, natural stone or quartz um, surfaces. We build all of our cabinets in house, so they're all handmade, dovetail drawers, um, real wood. Okay. Yeah. Now, as this one sits here, where, where is it priced at? This exact unit built as it is for the show truck is $1.4 million. Okay. Well, that is awesome. Well, I do appreciate you giving us the time to go over this, and uh, I'm sure people are going to find this pretty intriguing. You bet. Thanks so much, Bob.